Hello everybody, thanks for joining me again. I'm on Dartmoor on what is quite a uh, wild day. I had a plan to go to one of the other crosses this morning up on the uh, open moor but the visibility and the weather wasn't uh, playing ball. So I've come down into uh, what is one of my favourite uh, forests on the edge of the river Dart. It's been raining for probably almost 24 hours so it's very wet and there's lots of water running down the hillside into the into the dart. I'm not going to go down to the river today it's just too wild it's in full flood or full spate and I may not even get any good photographs today but that doesn't matter it's lovely to be out and uh, let's see what we can find shall we? So one of the things I really like about this woodland is just the detail. There's lots of fallen wood which uh, has just been allowed to stay here and that means there's lots of lichens and mosses, there's lots of rotting wood for insects, holes in the old trees and of course a little shelter just here so there's a lot of bird life even on a, a poor day like today. The trick is in a forest like this is trying to photograph them. I can hear plenty but uh, very difficult to see. Most of it is high up in the branches just silhouetted against the sky. What I need is them to come down. So I've stayed quite high up on the hillside here just looking down into the forest. There'll be lots of pied flycatchers here later on in the year and I was lucky enough last year to see a spotted flycatcher which is uh, quite rare these days so I'll definitely be coming back later probably about May time and see what there is. Well with a bit of patience last year I was able to capture this uh, male pied uh, flycatcher set on this twig but I was more pleased with this one. This spotted flycatcher is much more rare and uh, not as gregarious as the others. Just walking along the top of the woodland here just trying to find a quiet spot to sit and observe the birds but um, came across this lovely snaking branch here which being Chinese year of the dragon it looks a little bit like one of those long egong, elongated dragons. So I'm trying to take a photograph of that. Let me show you what I'm trying to do. So there's the branch in the back of the camera. Little way away I've got the 70 to 350 mil lens on. What I'm struggling with is separating it from the background so I've got the aperture as open as possible to try and blur out the background and a sharp focus on the branch. At the moment I've got it going from uh, left to right and uh, filling the frame. This might turn into almost like a panoramic shot. Anyway let's uh, Look at the settings shall we? So I've put it at ISO 50. As I said the aperture is wide open at uh, f5.6 and I'm currently at uh, 1 30th of a second. Now the sun keeps coming in and out now and I don't know what I prefer. Also because it's been wet there's lots of uh, sort of wetness reflections if you like on that branch so 
I might put a polarizer on and see if that helps as well. Well, this shot would have certainly benefited from a little bit of fog in the background, but at f5.6, I was able to blur out in the background and separate the uh, branch. But also at that uh, shallow depth of field, you can just see that the uh, branch on the right hand side as it goes into the distance is a little bit blurred. I focused right in the middle. But good start and not a bad shot. So I've found over the years that uh, yes, you can come out with a hide or a ghillie blanket or something and try and hide yourself. But on a day like today where you've had to walk into the woodland, the birds know you're here. What I often find though is if you just take your time, maybe stand still for a while, especially if you get close to a tree they start to come back around you. So that's what I'm going to do. Just stand a while. And if I don't get any photos of the birds, then there's still some nice trees to take photos of. Well, I must admit, I'm not really having much luck with these uh, birds. So I'm going to put the 16 to 55 mil lens on and try and make some compositions of the uh, rocks and uh, trees here. I've already taken a couple of telephoto shots of some interesting branches, but uh, there's uh, some really nice scenes here. Only problem this morning, again, not going to get much separation from the background so I'm going to have to rely on the uh, sort of composition of the trees and maybe the the green boulders against the dark background let's see what uh, I can find shall we well as I said before that I did try some uh, photographs of the trees just on the edge of the woodland really like this one with this branch that just almost defies gravity and reaches out across the moor tried to separate it from the background just in post-processing trying to make the branch a little sharper and uh, I've tried to keep the colours in this as natural as possible and to uh, reflect what was happening on the day but I did try several edits of this and I put this out on Facebook earlier in the week just to see what people thought most people preferred the bottom one which is the more natural colours but actually that took the most editing the top photo in this uh, little trilogy is more like reality obviously the black and white one in the middle a little bit more contrast but the bottom one I've taken the colors out a little bit and uh, the uh, clarity down so of course as soon as I put the uh, wider angle lens on frame up a composition the birds are now flying in and out of it but never mind I've got a really nice composition of trees let me show you well, I'll film this in the back of camera so you can see the actual image. But there's this collection of maybe three main trees and uh, one or two others sort of complementing them in the background. But uh, I've kept the photograph quite dark and moody. And with the light on the uh, foreground trees and the uh, moss, that's uh, allowed me to get a bit of separation from the background. So settings wise, I'm at 1 30th of the second, F4.5, ISO 100. Now I might 
mess around with the f-stop because uh, f4.5 is going to give me a very shallow depth of field. Helps separate the background but uh, I do want something in focus so I might put that up to f8 or even f11. It is starting to drizzle a little bit as well so I might have to put the uh, shower cap back on the camera soon. Again circular polarizer on just to take down some of the reflections in the wet uh, moss and leaves. So I've really tried to keep this uh, image really dark and at f4.5 I'm really surprised how good a depth of field I've got. I was trying to separate the background but at um, 55 mil it uh, works quite well. Bit of a vignette on it and I have uh, tried to brighten up that tree in the middle. So I'm still on the edge of the woodland, just been taking a few little portrait shots of some of the smaller trees and branches but I've now found another collection. Again this little group, there's three main trees which odd numbers always work well. I'm trying to look down into the forest so I don't get too much um, sky in there and if I have I'll probably crop that out. Not going to bother showing you all the settings, let's just have a look at what the photo looks like. Well if you've been watching my channel regularly you know I do like these more panoramic shots, almost letter boxes and uh, this little uh, trio of trees looks really nice, especially how the one on the left hand side sort of arches into the shot and leads you to the other two. Again kept it quite dark and this is at uh, f11, more what you'd expect of a photograph like this. But also again right on the edge of the woodland I tried taking sort of these little cameo shots of uh, some of the individual trees. Really like this one leaning against this boulder. Just thought this uh, was a nice composition, tree in the middle branches at the top third, just quite nicely balanced, taking a little colour out of this. And then just cropping this shot in a little. I think this works, I wanted to really pick out some of the detail in the uh, branches and trunk of this uh, little tree and it's almost framing the moorland in the background. So, really like that. So I think I'm going to call it a day, although it's still quite wild up on the moor there. In this sheltered spot it's uh, really quite nice. Bit of a short video maybe and uh, maybe not the greatest photography but really nice to come to a place like this and just uh, switch off from the everyday world and enjoy some uh, time with these lovely trees, some real characters here. If you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hopefully I'll see you somewhere next week. But for now, cheerio.